Hello. It's good to see you today. We're going to be doing another one of these videos in the series of presents for angel tree kids. And these are kids that, you know, a parent or a guardian is hoping that someone will provide some nice gifts for them for Christmas. And we're going to do that. We're doing it for five kids this year. We did two last year. We're doing five. I started out with four. But I stopped back by the facility that had the angel tree because I had a question for them. And I noticed that so many angels were left on the tree and it just broke my heart. They started out with, I'd say, maybe a hundred angels on there. And I went by there the other day and there might have still been 70 on there. I mean, it looked like almost none of them had been taken. And I just felt really bad. Like... We can do at least one more. We can take one more while we're here. Well, actually, I went back later. I thought about it and ended up going back and getting one. So, and I just picked one at random. And uh, so today I'm going to show you what we got for the, this is the fifth angel. And we're also going to be wrapping at least some of those presents and part of this video as well. I don't know if I will have time to do all of them, but I'm definitely going to wrap some of them here in this video while we're together. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little about a little bit about this angel. Okay, so we have this this angel is a five year old boy, and we we had a few clothing sizes included on this list, and then the the form asks if the child needs clothing or anything like clothing or shoes for Christmas they didn't circle yes or no they didn't answer that so when it comes down to clothing and shoes um, they only put a few sizes of things they didn't put a shoe size they didn't put that they only have a few sizes here for stuff and with the question where it asks if you need clothes or shoes they didn't circle yes or no so they didn't say but I went ahead and I did get them a few clothing items anyway and a coat and I'm going to show you that. So then if you're talking about the one thing that this child hopes to get under the tree for Christmas, Hot Wheels. Just hot, like Hot Wheels cars. He really wants Hot Wheels cars. Okay. And other things that the child would also like to receive, cars and Power Rangers. And then for the child's favorite movies, books. TV shows, etc. We have Daniel Tiger, Paw Patrol, and Bluey. And his favorite color is pink. And for the parent or the guardian, what would they like to see under the tree? Toy cars, balls, and a scooter. So that gave me some really good stuff to work with for this angel. Um, and I'm, first thing I'm going to do though. So what I've been doing with these videos, the two, I've been doing all that. We're going to do like the two boys presents. I showed you all that and the girls. So they're kind of in their own little groups. So our fifth angel is just kind of in a class by himself. So I'm going to show you all of the stocking stuffer things I got him. And I'm also going to show you the presents too. I have, I found some really good stuff for him. And then, so after I show you, Downstairs to my little gift wrapping station, and, um, and we will get ready to we will get ready to wrap at least some of these as time permits. So let me show you. Let me show you some of these items. Now, this the, the stocking is just a little gesture, but I found this stocking at Dollar Tree. It's a little Paw Patrol just a little stocking and the stocking was not something that they asked for this was just something I felt like doing on my own and we're going to be doing stockings for the other four as well just, I just wanted to so we have this stocking here and what do we have to go in it oh my gosh let me show you there are some crinkly things in here so this is a pop outs grab bag you can color and play with these little Paw Patrol characters. Look at this. So it looks like they, they pop out and they come with markers. You have eight pop out characters. You can actually color these with markers. So we have this pop out grab bag because he likes Paw Patrol. So I thought he would like that. You 
be able to see my shirt better when I do the gift wrapping video. I think it will show better. It has a goat on it, like a, a goat. <laughs> I love this sweater. So we also have Hot Wheels Mystery Models. I found these at Walmart. No, I found these at Target. And so I got three of these. It's just this little bag. And there's a Hot Wheels car in here, but we don't know what it is. Um, it could be anything. We don't actually know. So he really likes Hot Wheels. So I thought it would be fun to just get some little individual to go in his stocking. So I bought, I bought three of these right here, the little mystery models. And look at this. It's color change Nido. 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 In pink, which is favorite color. And it's squishy. I, I love, personally, I love these. Um, I had one and my younger son just liberated it from me like he did. <laughs> he took my needle <laughs> so I thought this would be a cute it's just like a squishy ball and you just squish it like that so I thought this would be a, a fun a fun little thing to put in there I love those and I also got you know I love my Volkswagens so I wanted to, I, I saw this little Volkswagen car at Walmart. This is a 1969 Volkswagen Squareback. It's like a little station wagon. But yeah, I thought that would be cute. It's like a two-door station wagon, basically. So I got him that. Oh, don't worry. There are plenty more cars to come. <laughs> These are just little things I wanted to put in the stocking. Oh, this is crinkly. That's actually not too bad. I wanted to get a little bit of candy to go in there. So, I hope you like sour stuff. I don't know. These are trolley sour bright crawlers. They're little neon like little gummy worms. But they're kind of they're kind of sour. And so back here you can see. So I just got this little this little packet of candy. These little these little sour gummy worms. So I'm gonna put those in there. And I, I actually got the other four, some of this too. I bought some Silly Putty. I think every everybody needs some Silly Putty. This stuff is so fun. You can put it on the print, on the comics. People still get the Sunday paper, which I guess anymore a lot of people don't. But you can get like the Sunday paper and spread the Silly Putty out and press it down and lift it up. And it will transfer the ink to your Silly Putty so you can see a, like a reverse image of the comic on your Silly Putty. And then you roll it up into a ball and it bounces like a little bouncy ball. This stuff is so much fun. I used to love to sit and just like pull it apart and mush it back together and pull it apart. <laughs> so yeah, Silly Putty looks like it's coming out of the chicken's butt. So everybody, all the other four are going to get Silly Putty too. Um... Also, this is one that the other four got to. I found all of this, well, most of this at Dollar Tree. It's a little a mini deck of Uno cards. It's Uno to go, a little pocket-sized ga card game. So you can play it on the go. I just think it's adorable, these little tiny Uno cards. So we have Uno go. And I have two glittery bouncy balls. I have a blue one and a purple one. And they have glitter and liquid in here. Now they do flash very brightly if you bump them. I'm not going to do that though because I don't like, I don't include a lot of like flashing lights and stuff in my videos. I just, for numerous reasons, figure it's better not to. Plus I don't want to wear them out. But we have these little liquid filled, it's just a little, like a little rubber. It's about ball. They're bouncy. And, uh, and they, they light up. Like, they have these little pieces on the inside. And they make these bright, like, yellow and red and blue flashing lights when you activate it for several seconds. But we're not gonna do that. Because that's just not cool. I'm not gonna do it. But if you want to do it, you can find these at Dollar Tree in the toy section. That's where I found them. So you could get one and Oh, 
look at this I found this cool car look it's a Barbie extra it's a Barbie extra Hot Wheels car and it's just called the Barbie extra and it has wings on the door kind of like a swan it is so cool and pink is his favorite color so I, I kind of I didn't know if he had any cars that were pink so I saw this one I said I have to get that one that is so cool so I didn't know there was such a thing as Barbie extra but they have a Barbie extra car at, from Hot Wheels <laughs> okay um also I can't remember if I, I think I got some of these for the other kids it's a little tech case and I know when I was a kid I loved little little stuff like this just a little zipper pouch you don't have to put any you know you could put whatever you want to in here you could put some coins in here or some little rocks or you know whatever you want to put in here I just always when I was a kid I always loved little stuff like this and it's kind of like a pinkish reddish yellowish color and then it has a black zipper going around it kind of looks like outer space like Saturn or something it's beautiful swirly colors I think I actually got some of these for the other kids too um, and we're gonna be looking at looking at their stocking stuff later and stuffing stockings as well but not in this video so this is for the fifth angel that's his and finally for his stocking I got some flarp flippin flarp which I've never seen that sounds like what my grandmother would have said to keep from swearing flippin flarp <laughs> flippin flarp flippin flarp but it looks like you have two layers here you have the blue and the pink here and I don't know if they like mix together or what I've never seen flarp like this I mean my kids you know, they've had flarp forever you know and I would often put it in their stocking and I still probably This is um, this is actually noise putty and glitter putty so it looks like the blue has silver glitter in it and then the pink is just plain so with pink being his favorite color I picked I picked one that had some pink in it like that right there so it's flarp flippin flarp and I found this at Dollar, Dollar Tree as well so that is everything that is going to go into his stocking which is this little Paw Patrol. So that's the stocking stuff. And now I'm going to show you his presents. Okay, so I have all of his presents together. And um, I really hope he likes everything. But I want to show you the one little trick I figured out last year. And this really helped. So if you are, um, if you're donating presents, like if, you, if you're sponsoring a child or, you know, you did, did some shopping, this really saved me instead of having to make a bunch of trips to your car although sometimes they will have like a cart or something you can roll out to your car to put the stuff in but if they don't have that which the facility I went to didn't have anything that I could use to <laughs> transport stuff which is fine um, these were a lifesaver last year they have these giant gift bags at um, at Dollar Tree they have them at other stores too, but you can get them at Dollar Tree for $1.25 each and I found five different designs so I have one for each kid and these bags are huge and they're made of really th uh, like thick nice plastic it's basically just like a fancy trash bag but it holds so much you can get so many presents in here it is 36 inches by 44 inches and these things were wonderful. I can get most, most of the presents per kid in these bags. And this will also help the parents because when, or the guardians or whoever's picking up the presents for the child, they can use the same bag. I just leave it at the facility with the presents. So whoever's picking up the presents for the child can use this. And hopefully it will make it easier for them to get them into their vehicle and then inside. You know, they can just use this for this So because I'm trying to make things easier on their end as well. So I figured something like, like this would be great. Plus they have nice, pretty, festive designs on them. Like this one right here has this pretty red and green plaid. So this is one of them here. And I just picked these. 
these up at Dollar Tree today. So I got that one. And this one has pretty poinsettias on it. Oh, and also they come with a little a little uh, cord. So like if you want to tie it closed. And they also come with a to from card that matches the design on the bag. So that's the second one. And the third one, and they're they're all the same size. The third one is green and it has little candy canes on it. And again, it comes with this red cord and it comes with a little two from tag. And I'm just gonna leave that blank. I'm not gonna put anything on there. Um, probably what I'll do is easy for them as well. In this way, it will give them a way to easily transport, hopefully at least most of the presents. And I don't put bows on the packages before, you know, one before I take them and drop them off. Because, um, if you've ever tried to transport a lot of presents, the bows always end up getting knocked off. They don't stay on the packages. And once you start stacking them, or the bows will get crushed. So I don't even, I don't put bows on there, but what I do is, uh, what I'm going to do is I bought a bag of bows for each child and I'm going to put the angel tree ID number on that bag of bows. Um, and I think I'm going to get maybe a pack of two from cards for each, for each um, child too. So that way the parent or guardian will have bows to put on each present and the two from cards and they'll just be in a bag. That way they won't get crushed or messed up. Um, let's see. And then I have this one. This one's fun. It has like little gingerbread houses on it, candy canes, and it has this little red cord that matches too. Shoot, I just realized I only bought four bags. I thought I had five. Well, anyway, I can run back and get another one, but, um, what I'm gonna do though is, since we will, after we wrap all of these, I will probably go ahead and go drop these off right away so they will have this angel's presence ready to go and they can notify the parent or guardian. They can come pick everything up. Okay, now I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to start with the clothes. So I found this pack of two long sleeve shirts. Now again, the form did not say that they needed clothes, but I wanted to go ahead and pick up a few things anyway. And they did give me some sizes like shirt sizes. These are a size six. And um, since he liked cars, I don't know, I kind of felt like he would like this shirt. I don't know, it looks like something you'd see on a race car or something. So this black shirt here says rock and roar, and it's like a, a thermal it's like a waffle knit uh, shirt. And then we have, we just have like a, a dark red here. And it's mostly plain. It just has that little design on it right there. So I got him those two shirts. And just like the other kids, I went ahead and got him a pair of jeans as well. I just bought, this is just a basic pair. at college. 
Costco yesterday, I found him this. This is a kid's jacket with a matching hat. See, it's a little matching hat right here. It's like a little, it's like my hat, but it's, it's like blue and green and gray. And this jacket right here from Snow Zoo. I don't know how you say that, but, and so it's just a nice winter jacket with a matching hat. Adventure Force. These are little die cast vehicles. We have five in here and they're all quite different. Little, just little die cast metal cars in here. So we have five of those. And he also likes Bluey, which I'd never heard of in my life, but I was able to find some Bluey stuff at Walmart. This apparently is bluey. I don't know. Is it like an Australian thing? I don't know. But he likes bluey. So we have bluey's bike here and he's sitting on a little bench and you can see his bike there and a little bird. That's very cute. So we have bluey's bike. It's so cute. And I also found Bluey, that's Bluey, the little logo there. Schoolmates. See, so you have Bluey right there. And then you have his three, his three little friends there too. And you can see them here. And it looks like they have another set. They had this one too called The Show. But I went ahead and just got the schoolmates set right there. So it looks like it's Chili. Chili is the mom. Bandit is the dad, Bingo is the sibling, and then you have Bluey. That one, that's not the sip, that's like the little family back there. So, but these are like his schoolmates. Oh, so this set includes Jack, Bluey, Pretzel, and Mackenzie, and that's the names of these right here. It's like last year, I, I didn't know anything about LOL Surprise stuff. And the two girls we bought presents for last year loved LOL Surprise. I, there's so much of it. I had a hard time picking to decide what to get. There were so many things. I really hope they liked what they got. And then, since he likes cars and Paw Patrol, I got this little set right here because it combines both. You have Paw Patrol and cars. This is the Rescue Heroes. These are Neon Rescue Heroes gift pack. So you get six cars within six of the characters here from Paw Patrol. And you can see back here it looks like they're all in their vehicles and they're racing down the road. I found this at Walmart. I got most of this at Walmart. I, um, I was able And this is 20 Hot Wheels cars. All these different types, although they mostly look like race cars. They all kind of look like race cars. 
Looks like you have two special ones up here. This is the Hot Wheels 20. So you get all of these assorted cars in here from Hot Wheels. Things, things heavy. I wanted to make sure he had plenty of cars. Because if he's like my kids were when they were little, oh, they could not have enough Hot Wheels cars. There were Hot Wheels cars all over the house. Oh my gosh. And even now they won't. My 17 year old, he won't part with his Hot Wheels cars. Not that I've asked him to, but he has several that he will just not part with. And I also found this 20 pack of cars from Adventure Force. It looks like it reminds me of one of those Carvana car vending machine things. We have one of those here and it just kind of reminds me of, <laughs> of this. But I know you don't know why I got this one either. <laughs> it has a Volkswagen bus in it too. Look at this Ford F-150. I remember when they looked like that. New. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It has a lot. It has a wide variety. Oh, I see a Suburban. Volkswagen Beetle. Oh, is that a Bronco? Looks like a Bronco and a Chevy van. Yeah, th I thought this was a great little mix of cars right here. So, yeah. So, hopefully, we'll have plenty of cars to play with. Yes. And, um, and also, um, down at the bottom on the, on the form, the parent or guardian. One of the things they wanted to get were balls. Now, we are not making ball jokes because this is about a kid's Christmas present. So, do not go there. We are not going to say anything about three balls or make any jokes about balls. But I got balls. I don't, don't joke. This is a kid's Christmas present. Do not make jokes. So, I just found an assortment of, they didn't say what kind. They just said balls. Get some balls. So, I picked up just some small. This is like a car carrier and it holds all kinds of cars and it has this arm and it like, oh, look at that. So this is new for 2022. So it goes up and it shoots them down like this and off like that. I thought it was cool. I thought he would like this because it's kind of like a car carrier, but it's also like a ramp for your little cars. It has a little lock on it. And it just goes straight up and just whew, like that. So, um, oh, it does come with a car. You even get a car with it. So, I thought with all his new cars, he might enjoy playing with something like that. So, I got him that. And the last thing I got him, um, it's just in a box. I'll, I can show you the box. The parent or guardian said that they would like a scooter for him. So, um, I couldn't, I couldn't really find any just like basic scooters at Walmart or Target. They didn't have, they had none. They had like the, the, the electric scooters that are like $200. I thought, I don't know that a five-year-old needs one of those anyway. So, um, 
I went on Amazon and I just ordered like a basic, it's like a little razor type scooter, you know, it's the kind that hits your ankle and you want to die. You know, one of those. And it, it came in this box right here. It just came like this. And I figured that the box, the scooter was in another box inside. It's not, I guess, you know, it's, it's an inexpensive little scooter. So I'm going to just leave it in this box because it's not in another box in this box. Like the scooter is just in here and it was just mailed to me. Like it had the shipping label right here. Um, so it's just blue. It's just a blue and silver scooter. It's nice. I mean, it's metal. I mean, I think it will work great for him. So they wanted a scooter for him. So I'm, I got him. I got him a scooter. <laughs> and I found the perfect wrapping paper. Somebody told me about this wrapping paper last year that they saw it at Aldi. And I looked at several Aldis and I never found it. But I, I did this year. This wrapping paper has like little Volkswagen buses on it. And Santa's driving the bus. And he has a little mermaid in the, in the bus with him. So... And pink is his favorite color, and the mermaid has, like, pink hair. Um, so I thought it would be fun to wrap his presents in the Volkswagen bus paper. So this is the paper we're going to be using for his presents. Because it's Happy Hall, H-A-U-L, Holidays. Happy Holidays. So this came from Aldi. And it says it's nice, heavyweight gift wrap. So that's really cool. I thought it was, I thought it was cool. <laughs> I was very happy to find it. So I don't really have a lot of presents to wrap in my own life this year. I really don't. Um, like for my kids, I don't have much to wrap for them. Um, as they get older, they tend to want more expensive things. So they don't get as many presents. So I don't really have a lot to wrap. I have some stuff for like my dad and my stepmom and a few other people, but in my family, we've kind of gotten to where, you know, we don't really exchange gifts anymore, um, because we all agree we have too much stuff, we don't need anything, so what we typically do, we might take each other out to eat, you know, like after Christmas or something, you know, like, that's, that's just your present, I will take you out to eat, or you take me out to eat, or, you know, we just do, we just do that, so, I don't really have a lot of presents to wrap, so, if I did, I would get some of this for me, but I don't really have that many, so. And I have tons of wrapping paper in the attic, and I really do not need any more wrapping paper. I have a lot of it already up there. But I thought this one would be fun to do for our fifth angel. So, alright, let's go ahead and wrap some of these presents. First, I have to show you my sweater, because at the angle we're going to be working, it doesn't really show. It's a, it's a drunken goat. And he has a little scarf. <laughs> so, <laughs> little drinks. Like he's drunk. <laughs> okay. We are all set up now to get started wrapping our presents. First presents of the year. First I have to show you this paper. Look at this fun tissue paper. At Aldi, and it has a Volkswagen bus with dinosaurs in it, <laughs> and a little convertible with a shark. And here we have a unicorn on a scooter. <laughs> I thought this was adorable. So we have multiple sheets of this paper. We have some shiny paper in red and silver and green and blue. be using a little bit of this now. Let's go ahead and get some of this. We'll set this 
this aside. So the first thing I want to wrap would be the socks and the Paw Patrol briefs. We're just going to put these together in this box. So when you have a box like this, you see how they do right here? This has always annoyed me how the box just doesn't stay open. And then when you try to put the lid on it, the lid does the same thing. <laughs> so there's actually a little trick that you can do to make it stand out a little bit better. It's very simple. Just take tape, just a piece of tape. Today, we'll be using Scotch gift wrap tape. It's just a simple little satin finish gift wrap tape. So you take your piece of tape and you see this piece here? This kind of sticks out a little bit. We're just going to take our tape, put it over that, and press. Just press it down. And look at that. Now sometimes that tape will pop loose. Just give it another press or add another piece of tape. So we take another piece, press, and look at that. Now it's straight instead of sticking in the scalp doing like that. It just takes a few seconds but it makes it, to me it makes it look much neater. laid one piece of uh, tissue paper over that. I'm going to tape this box. is now ready to be the lid. And I tucked the paper down on the sides there. Just there, there. Take the top and put it over. Now, you can take an extra piece of tape if you want to kind of hold this box down. And usually if I put tape on the box, I put it on there instead of putting it like perpendicular because that way when the person wants to open it all they have to do is take their finger and stick it up under there and just kind of run it this way and it easily tears the tape instead of having to cut it or pull on it. It will still hold the box closed but it's much easier to uh, tear the tape if you put the tape on here lengthwise. But we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to put any tape on it. So we're going to flip it upside down like It's just the most fun paper. Look at that. I love this paper. So I try to use as little, the smallest amount of paper possible. So I know that it's long enough that I can just put it on here this way and just cut like right here. And that will be plenty of paper to cover this box. Plus this paper is scored, which makes it much easier to cut a straight. Fold it over. Then we're going to cut it again. 
can hang on to this to see if I can use it for a smaller item. I did put it on the box, but I, 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 think, I think it'll be okay. So then we take this bottom bit, fold it up, and tape it. So since these presents are going to be transported several times, Try to make sure that I tape it down enough to hold it. We'll do the same thing over here. this bit here and this bit right here and there we have it our first wrapped gift now I don't put bows on here or two front labels I just leave it just like this and the facility did ask that the presents be delivered wrapped specifically our next item we have Bluey's bike. Isn't that so cute? Look how cute that is. All right, let's cut some paper. So again, I think we could do this lengthwise with no problem. So what I'm doing is, this is one of the longer tubes of wrapping paper, so a lot of times you can wrap things lengthwise so you don't have to use as much paper. So I'm just trying to figure out how far to go to have enough to go halfway up. Okay. So I'm going to just, let's turn it this way. I like to, to face it this way so that the seam of the wrapping paper will be on the back of the package, not on the front. You know, it would 
be cool if I had the, the wrapping paper kind of going the same way as the present, but I promise you that the kid is not going to care. <laughs> I have two kids myself. I know they do not care about this paper. So again, we're just going to cut it here. piece of paper. I did not cut it wide enough. And if you cut it a little too long, you can actually trim it down or just leave it. That can be a very loud, crinkly process. And then we're just going to fold these in and then we just fold it back. to see if you have enough to come up at least halfway up the present. So, let's see how we do. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let's get it kind of in the middle. There. these down like this. Just put a little bit of uh, a little crease right there. And a little crease right here. Like that. And then you fold them in and you just do like a little crease right there. Fold it in. Do a little crease. And then you can take your tape. You can And then bring this up and tape that. And we have these little parts here that stick out. And because these presents are going to be transported several times, I want to go ahead and just secure that part too. here and here, fold them in, 
crease there, there. I'm going to take a little bit of tape, secure that, that. And then we bring this up, bring that up there. And then again, we want to make sure we tape these bits here. Okay, so my tape. Just hold that up. Put a little bit of tape right there. And take this one and do the same. There we go. It's our Hot Wheels cars. And next, we have our little bluey schoolmates. Go ahead and wrap that. I have this piece of paper that I tried earlier for the other bluey thing, but it wasn't quite wide enough. I think it'll work for this though. Maybe. Let's try it. I think we can get it to work. creases and then these parts I'm just gonna fold that in bring it up check and make sure it's gonna cover it looks like it will so we're gonna take our two pieces of tape I'm trying to keep the tape off of the actual package. Okay. We have three pieces. So we bring this up. Tape it. Tape it there. little happy little gift and then next we have Paw Patrol little rescue vehicle pack here this is the neon gift pack over to the back. Mm. I'm going to cut the paper here. seam on the back. Just take a piece of tape. Tape that there. And you fold these parts down. Make a crease. Another one. Fold it in. Make a crease.
put a piece of tape here. And here. Three more pieces. Fold this up. Fold this up like this. Take a piece of tape. Tape it there. And then here. These are the little corners that get caught on things and it rips. So I try to secure those. So we have another present. Yay! And this is going to be the last present that we wrap together. Um, I'm kind of running out of time and I really need to quickly get the other ones wrapped. So this is going to be the last one that we do together today. This is the Adventure Force 20 packs, 20 pack of cars. This one is a bit, it's a bit taller. So again, you just want to kind of, you know, eyeball it and try to figure out how much you need to cover at least up halfway. This is going to go all the way over. So I'm just looking at it. Maybe about right there. So again, let's see. This is... I guess this would be the back. So place it there. paper up like that. You lay it over and then we're going to trim it. So we're going to want to place one piece of tape in the middle. sides, fold them in, and that crease right there kind of helps hold it in place. And then we take our tape and we mess up. We put it right there. We put a piece here and we bring this part up and we tape it right there. And then again, we have these little bits right here. We want to tape those. And then we have this side. And again, you press it down and crease it. Go 
fold it in. Crease it here. Need my three pieces of tape. So, tape it there, there, fold it up, and we tape it there. And then finally, I want to just tape these two little parts here that kind of stick out like that.